Hey, what's up, Internet? This is Ben from Anglers All. Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a coffee sparkle minnow. Uh, so let's jump in. First thing, I'm using a 710 Dairiki size 4. Bead is a brass bead, 4.7 millimeter or 3 16 um, First thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of lead to the shank here. This definitely helps just hold the, the front bead in place. But it also gives a little bit of weight to the fly. Throw a little zap a gap in here. We're going to start with a 3 aught white Danville thread. Uh, this fly was originally tied by Greg Coffey. Uh, from Illinois. It was designed for small mouth and later he found out that you could catch a whole lot of other different species of fish with it. So um, after a few years of it being in production, he and Adam Trina from Montana Fly Company got together and adapted the fly for other variations, articulation, different color schemes, um, we're going to tie in some woolly bugger marabou in white. Got two clumps here. Kind of even up the tips a little bit. And then go about as long as the length of the shank. And tie that in at the back. Right there. And then I'll wrap this all the way forward to right about behind my lead. Trim that. Secure that in a little better. Next thing is some pearl crystal flash. Just grab a couple fibers. For either side, if you want it more flashy, you can add more if you'd like. There's a lot of different color variations you can do with this fly. Uh, we have it here in an articulated pattern, kind of a brown trout color. Uh, you can also tie it in black, which we have available in our bins here at the shop, in a UV black. That's pretty much it. I just got a couple fibers of crystal flash on either side. Now I'm going to start a dubbing loop. So just make a big loop with my thread, come back to the shank. Tie that loop in and then advance my thread forward to the front of the hook. Grab my dubbing loop tool. I'm going to do a little whip finish here, a couple half hitches if you will, just to secure my thread so it's not flying all over the place. Next thing, start grabbing a couple half inch pinches of ice dub in a pearl, which is this. The way I do my dubbing loops is I get a little bit in there, give it a couple twists, and then I put my finger back in and open that dubbing loop up and it'll pinch that and also allow me to add another pinch of dubbing without the other falling out. 
Drop that in. Close that. Give it a few more twists. Open that dubbing loop up again. And at this point, we're just going to repeat that same step five, six, seven times, as many as you'd like to get the right amount of dubbing in there. A couple twists, pop it back open. All right, now that we've got all of the dubbing in our loop, one way I kind of gauge how much I want to trim, I just hold it up, say, okay, I want my fibers to be about two thirds the length of the shank of the hook in this case. I'm gonna brush out my dubbing a little bit, get those fibers out nice and long, just easy brushing, otherwise you'll pull this synthetic dubbing right out of the dubbing loop. That's about good. Now I'll just take my scissors and we're going to trim this again after we get this dubbing loop on so this doesn't have to be perfect just helps with getting the the wraps on without trapping a whole lot of excess fibers as we're wrapping should be good enough for now take my bobbin holder Get my thread out of the way, and as I'm wrapping, every couple wraps, just palmer this back. Just to keep it nice and clean. There we go. Get our bobbin holder out of the way. Take our thread and secure that dubbing loop, tie it in. Trim the rest of that out. Next step is just to brush forward. Next step is just to brush forward your ice dub here. And one more time, I'm going to take my scissors and trim again. So as you see, I still have quite a few long fibers there. If you have a little bit of a gap here behind the eye or behind the hook the bead I'm sorry take your excess ice dub that you trimmed off just add a little bit right behind the bead and we'll whip finish trim our thread again we can brush this a tad If you want at this point, you can do a little extra trim if you need to. And there's your finished fly. Real easy pattern to tie. Again, this is the Coffee Sparkle Minnow. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.